Over the last 10 years or so, I've been working very closely with the IPA, doing some fundamental research into how advertising and marketing communications work in hard business terms. It's really important to understand that marketing works in two very different ways over the short and the long term. The short term effects of marketing are easy to understand. We call this sales activation. Sales activation is any kind of marketing activity which is intended to evoke a fairly immediate response from the consumer. For long term growth, you need something different, and that's brand building. Brand building is any kind of marketing communications that are intended to produce long-term changes in human behavior by creating long-term memories. Sales activation produces very big short-term effects, short-term spikes, if you like, but they decay away very quickly. The effects of brand building are much more long-term. They decay more slowly and they accumulate over time. And as a result, they drive long-term growth and profit. In the short term, most of the sales you see are driven by activation. But in the long term, most of the profit you gain comes from brand building. Great marketing campaigns need both short term sales activation and long term brand building, and they need them to work together. Those two different kinds of marketing strategies, those two different strands require different ingredients. Short term sales activation requires tight targeting. You need to talk to the people who are most likely to buy and respond right now. Often in quite rational communications in order to close the deal. Ideally, what you want is to facilitate a response by perhaps including a direct response mechanism. Brand building needs much broader reach because you need to talk to people, not just who are in the market right now, but people who might come to market over the next two to three years. You need to engage them with things that are more humanly relevant, more general, more universal, and crucially, you need to engage them at the emotional level. The final ingredient is memorability. Remember, the point of brand building is to create long-term memories that influence sales over the long term. So everything you do needs to be memorable. So you need short-term sales activation and long-term brand building, and you need them working together, and you need them to be balanced. Our research suggests that the optimum of effectiveness tends to be achieved when about 60% of the budget is devoted to long-term brand building and about 40% to short-term activation. We call this the 60-40 rule. But our latest research shows that that rule, that balance, changes depending on category and context. What we're finding in the data is as the digital economy evolves, sales activation is becoming much more efficient. What that means is that activation as it becomes more efficient requires less budget. And so almost counterintuitively, the optimum split is shifting away from sales activation towards brand building. To put it simply, in a digital world, emotional brand building is more important than it's ever been. Whether you're focusing on the short term or the long term, there's something that's really crucial in all cases. And that's what psychologists call mental availability. Share of mind, if you like. Share of mind is one of the crucial determinants of why people do or don't buy a brand. This chart shows the continuum of mental availability all the way from awareness through salience to fame. And as you move along that scale, as you get increasing mental availability, increasing share of mind, you get increasing returns to your marketing budget. At the very top level, you have fame, campaigns that get people talking about the marketing, the advertising and the brand. If you can get people talking in that way, you effectively turn the public into part of your sales force. Campaigns that generate fame can, under some circumstances, quadruple the efficiency of their marketing budget. So if you want really disproportionately large marketing effects, if you want big sales and big profits, aim for fame.